Welcome to another Tips and Tricks. Question of the day. How can you give an alarm an operational range around set point? This is how you would accomplish that. I'm going to open up this EV that is for supply air temperature. And you'll notice here at the top, it says supply air temperature, 73 degrees, and the return air set point of 66 degrees. Now, if you look down through the setup of this alarm, it is selected as floating limit, got the supply air temperature, which is the temperature we want to alarm. It's got the supply air set point, which is presently set at 66 degrees, and it has the status of the fan. So the status of the fan in this case is used to enable the alarm with. As long as the status is on, the alarm is functional. So on down here, the high differential limit is 10 degrees. And what this means is that an alarm would be generated when the temperature exceeded the set point, which is 65.9 right now, by 10 degrees. So if it got to 75.9 degrees, it would cause an alarm to take place. The low differential is for the low side of set point. So if it's five degrees below set point, you would get an alarm. So if the supply air temperature was five degrees below set point, you would get an alarm. The dead band is used to determine when we come back out of alarm. So it's allowing two degree change to take place, which would then allow the alarm to reset. The time delay for this alarm is 240 seconds. 240 seconds would give it plenty of time to uh, come within range uh, based on startup of the unit or uh, some other thing like uh, hot water supply not being available or chilled water or so on. And then there's a notification class, and we're going to call this one critical. It's classified as critical, and that would be your EVC. So that's what it takes to put together a floating point type alarm.